it gets so hot in my room when it's sunny that I just... <sighs> Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I have another haul video for you guys today. I am working in collaboration with Pretty Little Thing to bring you guys this, I guess like kind of fall haul, although I want to say it's more of like a leather matrix haul, if you will. Um, but I picked out some really cool trendy pieces. I love working with companies like Pretty Little Thing because they have these super ultra trendy pieces that I may not necessarily like usually go for but because they're at a reasonable price point it makes it a little bit more accessible for you to be trendy um so yeah i want to show you guys all the things that i picked out for this month from pretty little thing i'm so excited to show you how i styled everything i tried my best to put together like some cute outfits rather than just throwing it on over like t-shirt and jeans so you guys can get an idea of how i would wear these for content but yeah, let's just dive in. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the pants first. Sorry if the lighting changes. The sun is shining so bright from this side. Um, so my background's a little washed out right now, but I can't really do much about it. Um, otherwise my face would be really, really dark. So yeah, maybe I'll just turn it more this way. But anywho, we're gonna get started. The first thing that I picked up was another pair of jeans. I'm very much so denim obsessed. You guys probably know this if you've seen my Instagram or just like any any bits of my closet, my life. I'm always wearing jeans. This pair is this super cute um, boyfriend fit. So it cinches you in at the waist and then it really bangs out at the hips and in your legs, which I actually really, really love this fit. Um, it's just so casual, so baggy. It almost gives off like a painter vibe or just like chill at home vibe. I know a lot of people think I'm crazy that I like to just hang out at home in jeans, but these are like just great for that because they are so baggy, so big. Um, I got them in this true blue color and I got these in a US 4 or a UK 8. So depending on whether you're shopping um, Pretty Little Things UK site or US site, they have different sizes. But I am a US 4. Um, I'm like a 25, 26 waist um, and then I usually wear like small for tops. So US 4 is the right size for me. Um, most of the time I'm going to show you guys a couple of pieces that aren't like perfectly fitted for my body but um, yeah I'm also 5'8 if that is a good reference for any of you who want to shop pretty little thing. The next two pair of pants are like I said that leather matrix theme that we uh, love right now. These are these coated pair of black uh, jeans they're really really stretchy this is actually a size 10 they didn't have it in my size so they sent it to me in the 10 which surprisingly it actually fit although I feel like an 8 um, probably would have been better they are ever so slightly big but if I just put on a belt it's not really that big of a deal and I can still definitely wear them as you can see in the video um, they actually look quite fitted in the video but they are a little bit big so if you get these in the right size I think they're great um, I actually really prefer the coated denim um, for like the leather pants look rather than going with like the fake leather or the pleather or the leather pants just because they are going to be a lot more comfortable this has a lot of stretch it fits your body a lot better um, yeah, so I think if you are wanting to go for that like Trinity Matrix vibe, do the do the coated jeans because these are it's just so much more comfortable to wear than the leather pants. I did, however, pick up a pair of leather pants from them as well. This I got in my proper size, so the US four UK eight but they are pretty darn cool. These are a pair of jeans that, or sorry, these are a pair of pants that I was saying doesn't fit me right, even though it is my size. So the waist is quite big, the, the hips are quite big as well. They fit around the um, thighs, but they have some stretch to them. So I feel like if I got these in a US 2, like a UK 6, they would have actually fit way better. Way better. Um, but yeah, they're these cool fake leather 
um, pants that have white stitching and I think the white stitching really pops on the black leather. It has a stitch down the middle where your kind of knee is and then at the very bottom of the pants they have this zipper detail so you can unzip it for a slight kick flare at the end of the pants or you can zip it, throw it over boots and it is just such a cool vibe. I already styled these in a Instagram photo so I'm going to insert that here but you can kind of see that it does fit um, but how it feels on my body is that I have to keep pulling it up. The waist is a little big. The bum area is a little big. So yeah, I would size down in these if you're going to get them unless you are like a super bodacious curvy girl. Um, these might work in your proper size, but other than that, like if you just got the chopstick body like me, you gotta just size down in these. So with the pants out of the way, um, I have a bunch of coats. Actually, no. I'm all over the place today. I'm gonna do the top first because it's the only top that I picked up from them. But I picked up this super cute little white, like corset bustier situation. I actually found the specific top from um, watching Emma Leger, 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 Leger. I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but watching her snaps, um, she styled these with a like mom jean and a black oversized blazer for one of her looks so that's kind of how I found this item and I yeah, just really love it it's just this really cute um, like corset moment it has lace on the front I do think that this is a little bit small for my boobs even though I barely have any boobs but the way that it's cut at uh, my nipple is like right here so if I stretch my arms up, 100% they will show through the lace part. So I have to be pretty careful when I wear these, um, or I think I would have to wear it underneath something that's like buttoned in the front. Like if I were to wear it with um, like a blazer, I would button it in the front so it's just like a little less likely <laughs> that I'm going to have a nip slip. But I mean, for photos and whatnot, I think this is such a cute little top. It fits your body really well. It does have those kind of like what do you call it the boning the bone of the corset where it's like these hard metal wires inside um, and those will kind of form to your body as you wear them so it's not uncomfortable at all I got this in a size 4 and um, yeah it fits it's pretty tight but it fits all right after the basic kind of pieces out of the way I pretty much strictly went for coats this time. The first one is a short jacket. It is another leather piece, um, but it is this kind of work style jacket with the pockets in the front. But what I liked about this was that it has a zipper detailing down the front and it has a tie waist belt for you to really cinch yourself in at the waist. Um, it is a little bit oversized and I kind of really like that. So if you zip it up halfway and tie it, it kind of balloons out in the top area, like around your bust. Um, and it gives off a more casual vibe. I have a photo on Instagram styled like that, so I will insert that here. But you can also wear it just open like a jacket, like how I did in this video. Um, yeah, it's just like such an easy one to wear. I feel like if I just threw on the spiked tank top, um, a pair of skinny jeans and these, it kind of instantly makes the outfit look like a little bit more stylish and a little bit more trendy so yeah I'm glad I got this it actually is like pretty decent quality I know sometimes it's a hit or miss with these online stores but this is a super soft faux leather um, it doesn't crinkle it doesn't make any weird sounds it doesn't feel bad on the skin it's lined um, yeah pretty impressed with this piece I got this in the US 4 and the UK 8 again. Another piece that has the same quality is this guy. It's a super long leather trench. This also is that same super soft faux leather. It is more structured on the shoulders. There's not shoulder pads, but the way that it's stitched. Oh, actually it has like a bit of a shoulder pad. But yeah, with the tiny bit of shoulder pad as well as the stitch it makes the shoulders quite squared off which actually is a super cool sleek look to the trench coat so I did really enjoy that however 
In the US 4, I found that the shoulders, if I like put it on properly and you look at me straight on, the shoulders are a little bit smaller than my shoulders. I have quite square, mm, broad-ish shoulders for a girl. So I found that these shoulders are a tiny bit small for me and I probably could have gone with a US 6 and it would have fit me fine. But honestly, it's not that noticeable and I would still wear this out. Um, I think this is really cute paired with like what I'm wearing right now which is just the white tank top and a little leather skirt or if I just wore it again with jeans and a white t-shirt and maybe some black boots I feel like that's a cool look there's these super super amazing photos of Kendall Jenner in this leather trench and it's a totally different style like that truly is like a trench style it's a little bit more short but that kind of is what inspired me to pick up a leather trench of my own Next, I have this amazing teddy coat, and truly, when I say teddy coat, like, I mean, this thing feels like a teddy bear. It is so soft. They didn't use, like, I feel like a lot of these coats use those, what is it called, like, piles, um, or that, like, wool material, but this really is, like, if you imagine a stuffed animal, that's that's the material that they made this with so it genuinely feels so 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 soft my little sister has been wearing this around the house like a house coat just because it's so comfy I've seen her like fall asleep on the couch a couple times in this um, but it also just is a really cute coat um, as far as warmth goes I don't know if this is gonna keep me warm through like a Canadian winter but I think for fall or if you're in somewhere where there's a more temperate climate, this could be a great fall winter coat. It is lined. I got this in the US 4 and it fits perfectly. The shoulders droop over a bit just like how I like my coats and yeah, it is just super simple, great coat. The last coat that I have is so cool but it makes the weirdest sound when you wear it and it's just because of the material that it's made of but it's this croc print pleather trench coat and the cut of it is great I love the buttons it is just great but look at the sound it makes okay listen to the sound it makes when you wear it like it's made of plastic <laughs> very very obviously it is just made of plastic so definitely not something that I'm going to pick up and wear on a daily basis but it is so cool like I do really want to still style it in a photo but yeah like I just can't imagine myself walking down the street like being that obnoxious person with the plastic coat the last item kind of relates to that coat but it is also this croc print pleather item it is this cute little tiny bag that I got I've been eyeing these tiny bags I feel like what's the brand that makes these by far makes these and they're really really cute but they're pretty expensive from by far so I didn't want to spend that kind of money on something that I knew was just gonna be a trendy piece so ta it's so cute I think it is such a cute piece I styled this with the leather pants that I showed you guys earlier so I'm gonna insert that photo again for you guys but it's just so structured, so cute. I love that it's crop print and not just plain black. The handle is very, very structured. It's hard. It's honestly pretty good quality. Um, I'm really impressed with the make of this bag and I definitely highly recommend it. If you guys are looking for one of those like tiny bags, try this guy out. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed yet another haul. I am trying to get out of my vlogging comfort bubble because I feel like those are mainly the content that I've been doing lately so I want to do more sit down more chatting more fashion um, and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any video requests of course leave them in the down bar below I have some pretty fun ones planned um, so hopefully you guys will enjoy those I'm trying to do more sit down like I said um, just because I find I'm able to share a little bit more with you guys when I sit down and chat with you guys, so yeah. Anywho, I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are in the world, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!